Hi friends, this is Anthony Cerner speaking to you from the Big Island of Hawaii. Hawaii. I'm staying at a high carb, raw vegan, fruitarian, frugivore, 80 10 10 community, whatever you want to call it. And um, it's called Kane Kiki. If you ever get a chance to look it up, by all means go do that. In the meantime, I'm just going to share my thoughts here on the beach. I ran about 7 miles out of my 14 today. I'm trying to run about 12 to 14 miles a day, hopefully getting back to 20 miles a day every single day. Just to let everyone know that you don't have to take supplements, powders, pills, lotions, all that magic stuff. You don't need to take any of that stuff. Live a high carb, raw, vegan life. Basically means, you know, have some salads here and there, but mostly fruits. Enjoy sweet, watery fruits. No cooking, nothing, no seasoning, no manipulation. And just get to enjoy the abundance of life that you have. You know, if we continue doing things that cause toxicity to our lives, toxicity to others, harm to others, as well as ourselves, of course we're going to suffer diseases, of course we're going to suffer illnesses and violence and, and, and just interesting thoughts that shouldn't be in our heads. Behind me I have beautiful water. All around when I run I get to enjoy the breeze. You know, this isn't some magic or some lucky thing. This is paying your dues. This is actually hard work, screwing up a lot, a tremendous lot. But taking chances, taking risks, that's part of becoming a vegan. I've been vegan for about 11 years, been more raw recently. And about 41 years old right now, I'm experiencing life like I've never experienced it before. My senses are a lot more heightened than they used to be. My mind is much clearer. The thinking I have is, is mostly in line with peace. I used to fight a lot. I used to, do, used to be a bruiser, whatever you want to call it. And, um, you know, very confrontational. I still am to some extent, but now my confrontation and my aggression is against those that cause injustice. You know, to the weak, the vulnerable, the most defenseless, the most innocent. There's no reason for that. You know, I look forward to ways to, to improve my life by removing things I don't need in my life. You know, whether it be relationships, drama, you know, unnecessary foods I don't need anymore. And what I get by cleaning out that, that's making a space for abundance and gratitude, I get to take in a lot more. I get to absorb so much more. And I get to give so much more simply by removing things I don't need. And I ask you to take a moment to look around you and see the perfumes, the toothpaste, the deodorants, the shampoos, conditioners, and soaps, and the foods that you're eating, all the condiments, all the seasoning, all the cooking, all that stuff you don't need. If you want to live in the abundance, you've got to give the abundance. You've got to give mercy. You've got to give compassion. You know, it's not, in a it's not going to be in a box, a powder, a shake, a lotion, a pill. Those things actually take from your life. It's toxicity. You don't need it. If you have to buy it in a box, then it's death. I'm very fortunate that I can just pick fruit off a tree if I need to. I've been enjoying nothing but coconut water today. Coconut water yesterday. Very simple. Climb the tree, grab some coconuts. You know, if it's oranges, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to climb a tree, get some, get some oranges. In the meantime, I'm going to make space, make an abundance. You know, many of us, including myself, I'm guilty of it, look for ways to numb ourselves. Look for ways to become more toxic. We are, we are toxic and it hurts. That hunger feeling is, is toxicity, is your body trying to remove it. And as soon as you feel it, as soon as it strikes, you think it's hunger or thirst or whatever it is, we try to put things in our mouth. I'm obsessed with putting things in my mouth like anyone else is. So what I do now is I, say I do some breathing exercises, I do some exercises, I go for a run. I look for ways to improve and cherish and raise gratitude, raise that attitude by removing things I don't need. And that's what I ask you for the moment. There's going to be a lot of things you may not need at this moment, but getting rid of them all at once can be very shocking. It can be very hurtful for yourself and for others, you know, whatever it is. So what I do is I just, I recommend take, take some steps, whether if it's smoking, alcohol, I was an alcoholic, I was a very mean person for a long time, angry, bitter, hurt. And it's like the saying goes, hurt people, hurt people. And if you take the time to realize that when someone is hurt, including ourselves, we're often going to hurt others. So instead of looking for ways to divide ourselves, and although some of the posts I have are going to expose injustices and hurts and so forth, things that we need to be raise our awareness of and be aware of, <laughs> we also need to know as we are aware of them, it gives us hope. Because as we share, more and more share this, we do not be desensitized from this stuff. Movies, TV, all that stuff desensitizes us. But when we expose ourselves to what's really happening, slaughterhouses and hurting and so forth like that, we look for ways to remove ourselves from that, reject that, that behavior. So as we reject that toxic behavior, we welcome the abundance of peace and love. Aloha!